Hey guys, the time has finally come and I am finally getting another laser tattoo removal treatment. My last one was in 2020, which was three, almost four years ago. And I have recently been having a lot of people ask me about my tattoos or say, I like your tattoos and they are terrible. And I don't want anyone to think that this is something I did intentionally and that the tattoos are supposed to look like this because obviously I've had multiple tattoo removal treatments so I just need these things gone. I have not had a tattoo removal treatment in three almost four years because in that time we had the pandemic and then I got pregnant and I had a baby and now I have a 17 month old and so this just wasn't important to me um, not to mention it would not be a good idea to do this while pregnant or breastfeeding because you're basically blasting that ink into your skin and um, into your bloodstream and that is just not optimal if you are pregnant or breastfeeding. So now I, I just randomly decided that I was ready to get these zapped again and I made an appointment for the place that I went last time which is Moran uh, Laser, um, Laser and Salon. I'm looking over at it. It's right there. Um, Moran Laser and Salon and they did a really good job last time. Um, they pretty much just blasted me with the strongest that I could take and um, there was a lot of removal done. I'm really hoping that my oldest tattoo here in the front um, with the camera and the dog, the camera's covering the dog which is why the dog is darker, that that one will go away. I've been having some trouble with the red ink on this tattoo. It kind of um, it really hurt so bad last time and uh, I think it scarred a little bit. So that ink is not good. So we'll see. Um, and then over here, we've got my gears and there's white ink in there, which turns gray when you use, um, tattoo removal on it. So that kind of sucks because it just, it's never going to go away. And then of course this one, I feel like this one might have some good progress. I had one on my finger, but that one got fully removed. So that's great. About pricing, this I called up and asked how much it would be for all of my tattoos at once, and I was quoted $250, which is really reasonable. Uh, I have gone to some places that told me they would need to sell me a $10,000 package, which is a joke. I mean, please. So uh, $250 is reasonable to me. I'm going to get one treatment on all of these tattoos for $250. Bucks. That's totally doable. You're supposed to get it done like every six to eight weeks, I think. Um, I've been basically going every three to four years. So... At this rate, they're never gonna go away, but we'll see. So, let's go. Waiting for my appointment. It's okay. It stays. I can but... turn it down a little bit if I need to. It's not that bad if you have a small area, but because I have huge areas on my arms, it it's bad to it. Y'all, that wrecked me. It hurts so bad. But I should only need three or four more treatments. Um, so that's going to be great. It feels so hot. It actually hurt way worse this time than it ever has. I think that's because we turned the laser up as high as it could go so we could get rid of as much as we could. Um, and it's just something that feels miserable. You don't ever want to do it, but I'll be back in January for another update. So we'll see what happens. Okay, so it's 12 weeks later and I'm getting a follow-up appointment to the one that I had at the beginning of this video. And so I feel like my tattoos are not super faded 
compared to the first few treatments that I got. So maybe I'm hitting a point where it's just taking longer or I need a different laser, I'm not sure. But I'm gonna get a second treatment today. Um, and I'm hoping they fade a lot because there's still so much ink left and it just feels like a never ending process. So I'll show you my arms. And maybe I'm crazy and they have faded. I haven't compared them to the videos of the last appointment 12 weeks ago. But I just want them to be gone and it's just taking forever. So that's what's left and we'll see what happens today. Okay, just after treatment, this is what it looks like. Listen, that was the worst pain I've ever felt getting a tattoo removed. And it was actually a couple, I guess, I don't even know how to say it, levels less than it usually is. And I kept saying like, oh my God, why does this hurt so bad? And um, the tech said that if you get it done a week before your period, apparently it hurts horribly, way worse than it usually does. And like, you're just never supposed to make an appointment a week before your period. So yo it hurts so freaking bad i'm a i fully believe that at this point because it's never hurt like this for me so it was brutal so it's actually faded a ton on this one the edges are really you know going away but yeah it hurts so bad here's just after treatment dang it hurts whoo but anyway, that's the update you guys have been asking me for. So hopefully I will get these off this year, 2024. This is the year that these stupid tattoos are finally going to go. I, I'm just sending that out there.